In this video, we're going to take a look at what's called Nash equilibrium. We're going to restrict ourselves to pure strategies for now. So let's consider this game, but different to what we've been doing so far in this game, we're going to assume players are trying to minimize their score. I could easily just multiply everything by minus one and have the same thing, but we're just going to try and minimize. So if uh, the second player is trying is defecting, is playing this strategy, which is called defect when you talk about this in terms of the prisoner's dilemma, then what is player one's best response? Well, player one is comparing five and four. Four is less than five, so player one should defect. So we're going to just mark that and remember that. Similarly, if uh, player two is cooperating, now player one is comparing two and zero, and so player uh, one should also um, defect. So we'll remember that. And then if we swap this and we say, okay, if we know that player one is playing the second row, what should player two do? Well, they should play, um, they should defect. And similarly with the first row. And so what we have here is a pair of best responses. So this is one uh, set of utilities where we've circled both um, utilities. So this is a pair of best responses and that is referred to as a Nash equilibrium, when we have two strategies that are a best response to each other. Here's the formal definition of a Nash equilibrium in shorthand. So it's some strategy profile, S tilde, such that the utility at S tilde is bigger um, or equal to the utility at any other S bar for all players against um, every other strategy profile. And here's a photo of Russell Crowe. Now, when we talk about pure strategies, we could also have things where our strategies are continuous numbers. So this game here, where our utilities are functions of two numbers, Q1 and Q2. Player 1 controls Q1 and player 2 controls Q2. It is just given by this expression. This is a famous game called Corno Duopoly. Um, we could very easily find the best response for player 1. We simply take the partial derivative of U1 with respect to Q1, and we'd obtain some expression for Q1 star, the best response for player 1, given player 2 playing Q2. So for any given Q2, you could write down what is uh, the best thing for player 1 to do. And similarly, you could do the same thing for player 2. Given any Q1, you could find what is the best thing for player 2 to do. I won't go into the details here, they're in the notes. And what you could then find is a Nash equilibrium, which is this intersection of best responses. So it's a Q1 that's a best response to Q2, and a Q2 that's also a best response to Q1. And we can get that by doing some very basic uh, calculus and algebra. 